Hi, my name is Kate and I am a trainee sport and exercise psychologist. I am teaming up with Opening Up Cricket to talk about psychological concepts and how you can use them in your everyday life or you can use them in your cricket. So today we're going to talk about cognitive restructuring. Uh, cognitive restructuring is a technique used by psychologists uh, as a way to reframe how an individual perceives or thinks about a certain situation so that we can adapt or change how they approach that situation. So it's commonly used when an athlete is having recurrent negative thoughts. So for example, if you're a batter and you're having a series of tough games and you're starting to get in your head that you can't do this, you can't deliver, this is where we could use cognitive restructuring to change those thoughts. So the process of cognitive restructuring involves identifying the negative thoughts that arise when you have these challenging situations and then shifting them to more positive statements and rehearsing these statements. So cognitive restructuring is very rarely used uh, in isolation. It's usually involved in REBT, which is Irrational Emotive Behaviour Therapy, or CBT, which is Cognitive Behaviour Therapy. Um, and it's also used alongside techniques such as mindfulness or self-compassion exercises. Uh, but yeah, it's a good holistic tool to have. So it's all good me telling you what it's good for, but how do you do it? So this is the ABCDE method of cognitive restructuring. So A is our activating event and this entails the athlete keeping a diary of all the daily events that generate these negative responses and they're asked to write down exactly how the event happened. So for example, in our batter example, say the batter is not getting as many runs as expected. We want them to record exactly how this happened. So B is belief system. Here we get the athlete to write down the exact dysfunctional thoughts they had uh, following the event, whether this was something they said out loud or something they said in their heads. We want them to write down the exact thoughts they had at that moment. So for our batter example, we just get them to write down all the negative thoughts they had, um, maybe following their shots. So C is the emotional consequences of A and B. So we get the athlete to write down the emotional or behavioural consequences that occurred as a result of these thoughts. So in our batting example, say the thoughts of inadequacy or imposter syndrome came up, um, we want them to write that down and then what happened as a result? So did their batting depreciate because of these thoughts? So D is disputing irrational thoughts and beliefs. So here we need the athlete to think about the illogical self-talk that they had and replace it with logical and productive thoughts. So in our batting example, we need the batter to displace these negative thoughts and replace them with more logical ones, perhaps based on the fact that the coach has chosen them to be on that team, so they do deserve their place there. And finally, E is the effect of challenging the self-defeating belief. We ask athletes to reflect back and look at the consequences of the changing their belief. So here we hope the batter can reflect on the irrational belief that they don't deserve to be there and they're not good enough to be in the team and go back onto the field with the mentality that they have a reason to be on that field, the coach has chosen them and they are able to do what they've been signed up to do. So hopefully you understand what cognitive restructuring is a little bit more and it's in your arsenal of tools to use whether it's on or off the pitch. If you want to know more about cognitive restructuring or any other psychological techniques that you may be interested in, please head to the Opening Up website and have a little look at our blog section.